Hello and welcome to the next part of the complete road design tutorial series. In the previous videos, we discussed on sample lines. We then proceeded to create our multiple cross section views for sheets production. Here, we also learned how to manipulate the section views. We then proceeded to discuss on quantity takeoff for our artworks, material and also discussed on the quantity takeoff criteria settings. We proceeded to compute our materials and we did our first part on plan and production where we created our view frames, then plan over profile sheets and also section sheets. In this video, I would like us to review our previous work and then finalize by doing the correct thing. For example, if we open any section sheet, we'll notice that the views have not been well aligned to the sheet. If I also go to the layout sheet, for example, like the plan of a profile for sheet number two, here you'll also notice that we have some error. And today's video, I'm going to show you the final plan and production that you can use so as to print your sheets accordingly. I will go back to the model space. And from here, Notice that our working scale was at 1 is to 250 and our scale used for creating the sheets and sections was 1 is to 200. So it is very important to set your scale here from the model space to match your scale that you'll use while creating the sheets. Like now, for example, if I can switch this scale to 1 is to 200, you'll notice how the section views have been placed at the sheets. So to fix this again, we can, we can use the region command. Just type region, then hit enter. Also again, we can pick or select any section view within the group. And at the modify view, we have update group layout. So I'm going to click update group layout once. With this selected, I'm going to select Update Group Layout once again. And now we see that our section views and also material tables have been updated. But if we go back to our sheet view, for example, you can open sheet number two. You'll notice that we'll still have an error at the sheet view. So I'm going to go back to the model space. And this time we can click at these three lines here. I'm going to pick from sheet number one and select sheet number one. Then I, I can go back to here. I'll hold shift, select the last sheet for the section. Then we can right click, then we hit delete. I'll click on OK to proceed. We can go back to our model space. And from here, I'm going to go to the tool space palette, then prospector tab, then we'll find here our view frame groups. So we can expand. I'll select the first view frame group, right click, then we can delete it. I'll click on yes to proceed. Also, we can go back to the tool space palette, expand our alignment, then center line alignment, then road one alignment. And from here, we have our sample line groups. If we expand again, notice that we have our sections here for the section view group. And we also have our sample lines and material list. This can be found at the alignments, center line, then your parent alignment. When you expand it, you'll have access to the sample line groups. So to start afresh, I'm going to Go back to our drawing here, drawing model. Remember that we have already deleted our view frame groups. So we can start today's work again by going to the output tab. And this time it is very important before creating the view frames, kindly make sure that you have your scale set or adjusted to the same scale as you are going to use while creating the view frames and also sheets. So with my scale now being at 1 is to 200, I can go here and then 
select create view frames. You can pick on our alignment from here, you can pick the road one alignment. For the station range, you can leave as automatic, then we hit next. For the sheets, I'm going to click on this, then you can now pick on any sheet with the scale that matches our working scale here. So I'm going to pick on a 1, 1 to 200. Remember that now here we also have the 1 to 200 scale. Then um, we can proceed by clicking OK. For the view frame placement, you can leave a long alignment. And then you can hit next. Here, if you had previous view frames created, it is important to reset back the number to 1. So I can click here at the name template. And now we can set the starting number as 1. Also, we can give it a unique template from here. So I'm going to select like this. Hit delete. We can leave view frame group. And then if I drop here, we can give it the view frame group alignment name, then insert. We can proceed by pressing OK. For the name here again, we can set the template. This time we can also choose to start with one because we have created an, a new one. And for the property fields, I can select at the template, we can hit delete. Then you can give it an alignment field here, like for example, view frame group alignment name. Then insert, then OK. If you drop here, you can select your required style, or you can also select your required label style from here. I will leave as the ANZ, non plotting layer, then press next. Here, you can choose also to set your match line group name. For this one, I'm going to give it the starting number of one again. Then for the style for the match line, you can choose a style. I'll leave as it is. For the labels at the left and right, I'm going to leave as ANZ and plotting layer. We can press next. Also remember here, the profile view style and the band set can only be changed while creating the view frames. So once you set your profile view and band set, they cannot be changed once the sheets or view frames have been created. So here I'm going to pick on a profile view style. I'm going to select the new road profile view style. And for the band set, you can leave as ANZ road. Now I'm going to select create view frames. We now have our view frames created in plan view for road one alignment. The next step is to create our sheets. So I'm going to select create sheets. This time we can select here or remember that the only view frame group we have now is for the road one, which we have, we have created. So we can select here the view frame group for road one. For the view frame range, you can select all. And for the layout creation, if you want number of layouts per new drawing, you can select it from here. All layouts in one new drawing or all layouts in the current drawing, whereby we'll have the sheets created here. So this is the command which I'm going to use. All layouts in the current drawing, and you'll see that it will create here sheets. Next, you can select the sheet name. I'm going to click here. And you can leave as sheet, then next counter. But for the starting number, we can set to one. You can drop, then if you have a north, you can select the north block from here. So I'm going to pick on this north A2. But remember, we can also be able to add the north arrow later once we have created the sheets. I'm going to select next. For the sheet set, we can give it the unique code of. View frame group, road one, and then the sheet set name. I'm going to go with next. And notice that for our profile view and style and the band set, we cannot be able to change. This can only be changed while creating the view frame group. So for here, I can drop. Then I can select this one, road one. Don't want the long section. Also, you can 
click here then you can choose to go with the profile view wizard so from here you can see that we'll have this the minimum and maximum elevation we also have our station range and the rest for example also our road section and also our material sections at this profile display option for the data bands what we can be able to change is only the surface for example here for the design i can change and i can input road one profile okay you can select road one profile for both surface one and two for the p2 this is the existing surface we leave as it is for the depth it is the design which is road one profile and p2 is the existing surface also for the ANZ chainage, we can choose to go with road one profile. And for the profile title also, let us utilize the road one profile title at the title. So remember, the band set and the band set style can be can only be changed while creating the view frames. You cannot change them ahead can press next if you need we can add our cut and fill at the sections then next again and for the draw order we need it by rows we can set the starting corner at the upper left like this maximum in a row we can select four and gap between profiles i can set to a value for example 50 this you can be able to change once the sheets have been created. So for this one, we can be able to change for the multiple plot options. Now we'll hit finish. For the align views, we want them to align profile and profile view at the start, which is okay. Or if you want, you can align them at the center or at the end. For this one, let us go with at the center. Then now we select create sheets. Then now we select yes. And we are going to be required to pick a position in the screen where we are going to create the sheets. I'm going to select somewhere here and our profiles will be created, our profile views. Now once we have our profiles view created, if we zoom at it, we'll notice that we'll not have our existing surface or our road profile. So to fix that, we can go, we can pick this first profile view, then you can go to profile view properties. From here, we can go to the elevations tab, and then we can use our user specific height or select automatic height first. Hit apply. Just zoom out, and you see that the profiles will now be visible. So to adjust it, if in case you need the height of the profile view to be shortened, you can come here now, you can give it a minimum elevation of 1623 and a maximum of 1630. If we hit apply, you'll notice that our profile view height will be modified. So for the height, you can change it back to 1631. And this one, we hit apply. Okay, that will adjust the profile view height. Then now I can press OK. If we press Escape. Now if you go to view our sheet one, because this is for the profile view at the start, we can go to sheet number one. And now we see that our plan is above, profile is below, and everything is visible within this sheet view. For example, now we see our existing surface and also our design surface. We can adjust this by selecting on the lower viewport. We now select on this lower viewport only. I can now drop, and this time we can set the scale to 1 is to 250, like that. Then I will turn on the snaps, and I can snap back here to this corner. 
Okay, you can snap it there. Then we pick this one, the bottom grip. Then we snap it back to this other end point here. And this will fix our profile and the plan for the sheets. So you can do this for every sheet. Like now, for example, for sheet number two, you notice that we cannot see our existing surface and our design profile. This is because of the elevations at the profile view settings. You can fix that by going and select the profile view, then go to the elevation tab and modify your start and end elevations. So while at the sheet view, you can use the layout elements to add your legend, also your north arrow and the scale buff in your sheets for the viewport. I'm going to go back to the model space. So we can go back to the model space. And now from here, we can proceed to create our sheets for the section views. So we can do so by going here, create section sheets. I'm going to pick the command. For the alignment, it is road number one. For the sample line collection group name, it is okay. And also the section view group is okay. Next, you can go to the layout settings, and under the layout name, we have the section sheet, the next counter. Since we had previously created, I can click here to change the starting number to one. For the new sheet set name, we can leave it as it is. Then we can proceed by creating sheets. You press OK, and the sheets will be created. Now, if you go to any section sheet, like for example, section sheet number one, we'll notice that we now have the correct layout for the sections and also materials according to our sheet size. So this is how you can fix or set up your section sheets for land production in the correct way. So it is very important that you set your model space scale to correspond to your output scale so that you can have or create sheets the correct way while producing them under the planned production. So I hope this video has been informative and you can see now all our section sheets are okay and also for our plan sheets. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to emphasize on the importance of the scale while creating the section views and also the other layout for the sheets. So in case you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly take a second or two, hit the subscribe button so that when I produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I'd like to thank you all for the continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.